how to fix the flashing folder with a question mark issue on your MacBook computer. Now, depending on what happened with your hard disk, a number of different uh, solutions that you could try to fix uh, this error, uh, having the question mark folder on uh, boot up or on startup. Okay, the first solution is to check your startup disk. So we can try to restart your computer. At the back of the computer here, I'm going to press and hold onto the power button. Okay, so press and hold on the button here at the back to reboot the computer. Once the computer reboot, immediately press on the option key here. So I'm going to start the computer. And then press and hold on the option key. So here, connect to your Wi-Fi and put in your Wi-Fi password. Okay, at the top here, you can try to click on Internet Recovery. Here it says starting Internet Recovery. This may take a while. Now, I have tried this option, but it does not seem to work. It is stuck on uh, when I enter in the Wi-Fi detail. Normally, this would allow me to go into the Startup Manager. And from there, I can select the Startup Disk. So by choosing the correct Startup Disk, from the list. Uh, if your internal hard drive is listed in a PCB bootable, bootable, you can select it and then you should be able to boot into your Mac uh, OS. Now the other option is to reset the NVRAM or the PRIM or PRAM. So to do that again, we restart the computer. And on the keyboard, you need to press on the option plus the command key plus P and plus R. So here, and then R, and then also the P command. So you need to press on the option, option plus the command plus the R key and plus the P key. The four keys need to be hold down simultaneously. So continue holding these keys until you hear the stop charm a second time. After you hear a second, uh, the, the stop charm the second time, you can release the keys and allow your MacBook to restart normally. Now, if that does not work and you still see this logo on the screen, then maybe you need to put your Mac OS into recovery mode. To do so, simply restart your MacBook again by pressing and hold the power button at the back of the of the monitor. And immediately press on the command R key. So as soon as you hear your MacBook start, press and hold on the command plus the R key simultaneously. So press and hold. Release the key when you see an Apple logo appear on the screen. Okay, once you see the Apple logo or the globe spinning icon, try to enter in the Wi-Fi detail. Okay, now the computer is downloading the required recovery software to repair the hard disk. And after that, you can try to um, follow the on-screen instruction to repair your hard disk. Now, the other option is that once you have successfully boot into the disk utility in recovery mode, you can open up the disk utility and in the Mac OS recovery mode, select disk utility from the utilities uh, window. And from there, select your startup disk, select your startup disk, usually named Macintosh HD or similar uh, from the sidebar. Run first aid, click on the first aid tab and then click run. This will check for the for and repair any disk errors. Now, if the disk repair um, cannot fix the issues, uh, if the disk, uh, the disk utility cannot repair your issues, then you may need to reinstall your Mac OS on your computer or your MacBook uh, Pro. Yeah, give that a try and see how you go. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.